Hola, I'm Wanda Cologne and this is Spanglish Cooking. Today I'm going to make a really fun recipe. It's something that's really popular in Colombia and Venezuela. They're called arepas, but I'm going to make them Spanglish style. Arepas are usually done with either corn flour or corn meal. I wanted to do something a little bit simpler. Sometimes it's difficult to find that corn flour, so I'm going to use your basic pancake mix. The only thing is, I use a pancake mix that doesn't have a lot of sugar. So let me just show you how to make the arepas. What we have here is two cups of our pancake mix. In order to get that corn flavor, I have some cream of corn. I don't want my arepas to be so full of kernels, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put them through this strainer. I just want the juice. All right, so I'm going to put them in there and then just use my spoon just to strain it all out. And this is really preference. If you want your arepas to have the texture of the corn, you can certainly put in the kernels as well. So what I have here is about a half a cup of the juice from the corn. And like I said, I have two cups of the pancake mix. The key is to really add the liquid slowly because you want to make sure you have the right consistency of the dough. The key is to continue adding liquid and keep stirring until you see that it's forming a dough. You don't want to over knead your dough but you definitely want to make sure it feels right and it's getting there. It really isn't that sticky anymore and it feels really buoyant, which is nice. And the best way to tell is just to get your hands dirty and feel the dough. You want it to kind of bounce right back up. You want it to bounce right up, which is exactly what it's doing. Once you have your dough, let it sit for about five minutes before you form your arepas. My arepa dough has been resting and now it's ready for the next step. I have a bowl of water here and I use the water to wet my hands. It just makes it a little bit easier to get the dough and form it if your hands are wet. If not, it'll stick all over the place. So you just kind of want to flatten it out with your hand. And you can make them as big or as small as you like. And then I'm just going to put them in a hot pan with oil. Just to brown them. Now that they're starting to rise, it's time to flip them over and brown them on the other side. Ooh, they look awesome. And just a couple of minutes on that side. We don't want to cook them all the way through because we're going to finish them off in the oven. Okay. Now I'm going to put them on my ungreased cookie sheet. I'm going to put them in the oven at 350 degrees for 15 to 20 minutes. I'm going to cut one up and see what the inside looks like. It looks amazing. It's so flaky. I have to taste one. Mmm. I can totally taste the corn. It's so delicious. It's going to be great with breakfast, lunch, pretty much anything you put in bread. This is my yummy Spanglish version of an English muffin. Arepas done Spanglish style. <laughs>